KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 15th of January. I'm James Spam. Finally, we're getting some sunshine this afternoon. We're dry tomorrow. A chance of rain Thursday, rain Saturday. Coldest air so far this season by Sunday and Monday. Let's check it out. There's the upper look uh, this afternoon. Got a zonal flow across the southern states. And yeah, most of west, south, and east Alabama in bright sunshine. The exception, though, basically areas north of Birmingham. The clouds are lingering there, but they're breaking up fairly quickly, and the sky should be fair this evening statewide. Temperatures stay below average. Again, the clouds, of course, were hanging tough this morning. Only 40s for central Alabama, 30s for the northern third of the state, 36 for Cullman. Uh, we ought to be in the middle 50s this time of the year, but tomorrow we will go in the 50s. Around the nation, temperatures are fairly seasonal for January, but again, up in the northern part of that screen there, up in far northern Canada, that really cold air building, and we're going to start to feel that late this weekend and early next week on Sunday and Monday. There's the watch warning map, relatively quiet across the country. Got a few scattered winter weather advisories, some wind issues out in California. Things are quiet down here. A marginal risk of severe weather for Los Angeles. How about that on the California coast? Otherwise, no thunderstorms across the country. This is the precipitation for the next seven days. Big numbers for California and the upper Pacific coast. Down here, rain amounts about two inches for North Alabama, one to two inches for the southern two-thirds of the state. And let's go. Model fans. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Again, a zonal flow and a dry air mass. We start the day around freezing. The high will be in the mid-50s in most spots. The sky will be mostly sunny for a change. But Thursday, the clouds come back. A little system will probably squeeze out some uh, rain Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. Nothing heavy. Moisture very limited. I'd say rain amounts probably a quarter inch or less for most spots. Now, this is Friday. Clouds will linger. And there could be a shower in spots, uh, maybe a few scattered showers, nothing too widespread, and very mild. We're expecting highs in the 60s on Friday. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. Very dynamic storm will be in the 60s Saturday. Rain will likely move in during the afternoon hours. I'd say the main window for rain, noon to midnight. There could be some thunder. For now, we don't expect any severe weather. And another big snowstorm, Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, Indianapolis, up to Detroit and Cleveland. This is Saturday night at midnight. Snow's moving into New England, the northeast United States. And again, the specific impact on Boston, New York City, uh, kind of a close call for those places, but certainly the interior parts of New England will be hammered. And the rain should be winding down Saturday night and Sunday for us. Just windy, cold. We'll struggle to climb above the freezing mark. Strong north winds will push the wind chill indices down into the single digits on Sunday. And again, like we've talked about for days, there could be a few flurries late Saturday night or Sunday morning, but no accumulation, no impact. The cold is the big deal. You want to see some snow, look for those peak areas with this storm. Again, uh, heaviest snow probably just north of St. Louis, over to Indianapolis, Cleveland, Detroit, and the interior parts of New England. They'll be hammered with this thing. Let's go to Monday. Monday morning is going to be cold. We're expecting lows in the teens for most spots over the northern half of the state. The sky will be sunny. The high Monday will be back in the 40s. This is a week from today, Tuesday the 22nd. Here comes the next trough. Down below that, a surface low developing near Fort Smith, Arkansas. More snow for Kansas City in St. Louis and Des Moines. Uh, let's go to Tuesday night. Uh, surface low brings showers in here, rain showers, with snow again up around Chicago. And then Wednesday of next week, the 23rd, the precipitation winds down. And again, there might be a few snow flurries on the backside of this, but uh, again, no sign of any impact or accumulation. Let's go out 10 days, Friday of next week, 25th of January, cold-looking pattern developing for North America. Got a big ridge pumping up toward Alaska, uh, troughing for much of the United States, and for us, that looks cold and dry. 
And we stress no sign of any significant winter storm for the deep south at this point for the next 10 days. But the pattern sure looks pretty cold after uh, after Saturday. Here are the numbers. I think we'll see 60s both Friday and Saturday, and then you can see highs dropping in the mid-30s on Sunday. The European Ensemble here has 18 for Birmingham Monday morning. And for next week, highs mostly in the 40s, and then lows again down below freezing out there toward the end of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. 